welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Fair Principal I'm your host Shaheen in uh, today's video we are going to look at continue our analysis of gold and silver we were expecting strong bearish action in uh, gold and silver we did see some bearish action in gold and strong bearish action in silver um, but the price has yet not moved the way we were thinking especially in gold um, that has generated concerns in my mind and uh, I had to con consider the l alternate labeling. I was expecting the last day of this bottom uh, yesterday over here, the, before, the day before yesterday, and I think a couple of days before yesterday, that you will see a strong move downwards, but that did not happen. So in that, that brings us uh, alternate labeling. We have to think what else is happening. And then I posted a video that, okay, then there's a possibility we are seeing the upward movement pull back and plus prices go upward we have seen prices gone upward but before crashing the bottom right over here and hence i posted it okay the trade setup has failed already i myself had pretty uh, tight stop loss i had entered right over here and stop loss was right here so not a bigger a deal uh, but still so let's have a look at what's happening in gold and silver before we can actually continue on gold and silver first have a look at silver silver is giving us a better um, reading of the market we are looking at the market as uh, the initial move came down from the top which is and then we are expecting that okay we have seen a correction and then we shall actually continue downwards however so in the morning after my forecast we have seen the prices jump upward so what's expected to happen I think th this is what we are expecting to happen right now we are clearly seeing um, a flat pattern there is a high probability of seeing a flat pattern and as soon as that pattern is complete uh, after that you're expecting for the prices to continue the downward trajectory so the correction is the the trend is still bearish but on the smaller time frame could it take four or five days i think it will take a bit of time and in order to consider the time duration of this market we can look at the previous two moves that's the first move and then we have the second move there almost identical in terms of uh, time consideration so let's head over to our daily time frame and see how they have done so it's not a necessary but it will give us a guide that is going to happen so it will give us a guide for example you can see that the previous move uh, upward was seven days okay and then the downward move we can consider continue this in total was 14 days all right so seven days each we are expecting for another five days uh, to continue because we already have done two days of data so i'm expecting that in the five days we should see on average the completion move of this wave this wave and that way that will give us it doesn't have to be there are other um, there are other chances as well we have seven days seven days and it can actually take more time in that case it would actually uh, take possibly 14 days all right because a is equal to b is equal to c this is one of the Elliott wave guidelines that all of three could be of equal uh, equal in proportion or wave one of them is equal to the sum of the other two in that case wave c is equal to sum of wave one and two that will be 14 days uh, so either i'm but i'm expecting that there's a high probability of seeing a is equal to b is equal to c so this is is uh, uh, in time of concept so that means the whole next week is expected to be bullish in in silver and if the price is not reached by that time that we can easily um, uh, deduce that the next week would after that would be bullish as well if the next week is if the own move gets completed in the next week that would be really good now before that happened we have to look at the previous week the waves have been like we have seen the corrective waves okay uh, and similarly if you look at this we have seen corrective waves with this move we have gone up and we have seen pullback already is it the only correction you're going to see but i think it's a is a reasonable place to enter and once again use stop losses and uh, money management as well so i'm bullish on silver i'm expecting that the comp the pattern is going to be a b c and we're going to see an expanded uh, sorry a flat correction a regular flat so this is the start of the pattern this is wave a this is wave b and this is wave c um, if prices falls below the previous top right the pre previous low which is 2252 that will be worrying okay so we can use this place as a potential stop loss 
and we are expecting for the prices to go upward, we can actually look at how far we are right now. So we are kind of, yeah, we are kind of uh, three bars sections have been completed and another six to go. So this is uh, not bad. One ratio to uh, profit to stop ratio, profit to loss ratio. Uh, sorry, two ratio one in terms of profit to loss ratio. Uh, let's have a look at gold. Gold is, um, I'm already hearing a bit of shouting, okay? So don't worry about it, we'll get it to it. So what I'm thinking right now is that there's a huge chance that we have not completed the top. There's a huge chance because we have not completed the top. What it means that there is a high probability that we are going to see a double top, all right? And let's get back, let's step back a bit whatever is happening over here however you want to label uh, from the bottom however you want to label from the bottom right over here i'm expecting another lag that's going to continue all the way upward okay i was expecting going go stop over here but i think now after the uh, the price movement that we were expecting bearish price movement in last uh, whole week but it did not happen and you in, so that brings us we have to look at alternate count and that alternate count i've done some studies already on the chart and i can tell you with a high confidence that the next week is going to be bullish all right so this is in the case in terms of bullish in as soon as the and uh, the price hits the target which is a double top and which is the fourth top uh, for the fifth one fifth top we have already seen three tops in this region right but this price has gone beyond the previous three tops which is this is 2080 so this is almost like um, 65 bucks it has gone beyond 65 dollars from the previous top all right so we have to start considering this as double top also we were considering that price has gone up and then we have seen rejection we have to look that this uh, is not working okay because we have seen rejection and retest has happened but the after the retest price have not sharply fallen enough so this is an important uh, price target we can definitely use it in our studies and we'll keep on using this on our studies um, but the immediate swing that we are looking at is the price is expected to go upward this uh, parallel channel i have drawn it for a reason and i'll explain you the reason uh, if it is to do with our time studies we are trying to get when it is going to happen uh, so we can actually take more benefit uh, in case of some of them using options and still it's a probability game so let's have a look in terms of first of all let's have a look in terms of elliott wave structure if we are to expect upward we have clearly seen a zigzag move right over here that makes it a w and this makes it x so we are expecting another zigzag move upward let's have a look on hourly time frame it'll give you a uh, idea what i'm talking about okay so we clearly have seen a zigzag pattern there's nothing denying in it we have seen all the signature moves in it we can start the pattern from over here this is an a this is a b and this is a c uh, and we can see that the second wave, the third wave, um, after the correction, is clearly shallower. However, the, the prices that has worked after that are not really convincing. Uh, so that is the reason I'm considering that we have started the pattern from over here, and this is only part of the pattern. And I've done some uh, alternate studies as well, uh, which are indicating there's a high probability of upward movement so we are expecting now a double zigzag pattern in terms of elliott wave analysis so in terms of elliott wave analysis we are double um, and i'll give you the reason and we can change this one too so let's have a look this is a w this is an x and this is a y let's have a look at time element in terms of price we are definitely looking for a, almost a hundred dollar move let's see how long it's going to take possibly we have a couple of probabilities um two three probabilities we're going to play with here is the duration of w okay and there is a probability that we can actually see uh, that wave c wave x sorry wave y is going to be the sum of w and x okay which is this is w and this is x so let's have a see if you can actually bring them together so this is uh, almost three times 
if W and X combine together, we have three zones. So we can actually see that one potential is that price is going to be taking just three and a quarter so uh, bars. So we are kind of expecting this happen. Uh, this will bring us to the 24th January. Okay, so around whole 20 more days, 18 more days are expected to be. Uh, in terms of weeks, we have three more weeks, two and a half weeks. I can use the days. That will be easier. I think this was, I measured this. I think this was kind of 10 days and this is uh, six days. So 16 days. Um, and this is in the, another 16 days, trading days. When I say trade days, that means trading days. So another 16 days of data is expected to go upward. This is one probability. The second probability is that, okay, there's a possibility that we are going to see um, W, X, and Y equal, but we can clearly see that W and X are not equal, so we cannot use that. The third probability which we can use for approximation is that could there be possibility that the sum of W, um, sorry, X and Y are equal to W, and that's what brings us uh, this, the previous um, move that I was doing right over here. So that brings us over here. So let me use that again. So we have two rays and we have, oh, sorry, two. So this brings us over here, which is our price target and time target average. So we can use this as potential time target. That would give us next few days. This is January 12, and I was looking at the wrong date. Give me a moment. Because I was looking at the year, not the date. So, this is January 26 and January 29, end of January, okay? In case the second option happens, we should be expecting and the top somewhere around January 29, because I was looking at the last two digits, and they are actually the year, not the exactly um, the date of the month so if this is going to happen this happens on friday this will end on friday so this gives us some ad an idea of what is expected to happen we have price target and we have time target which you can use an estimation and once again this is an estimation there are different methods for um gan and gan is totally different this is elliott wave analysis okay so we have price target and time target. We can clearly see now that price has gone up and the pullback, you might want to see why we have seen the pullback at this. First of all, this is support zone. That's really good. But if you actually uh, draw the equal percentages uh, of the previous move, and then we can see that, okay, we have seen this particular move at the 50%. But what about this next one? So let's have a look. So the next move is actually uh, five sections by nine. All right, this is four by eight, and this is five by nine, and that's why we have two important uh, support points occurring in terms of price as well, giving us an indication that there's a probability we have find the uh, the support point for price, and then we can also see the structure as well. So we have structural support and we have percentage support in two points as well. So we have high confidence that the price is expected to go upward. And uh, now all of you were be saying that, okay, Arthur was really, really bearish and he was really um, strong wise about it. I'm still bearish on it. And long term frame, I'm still bearish on it. So a lot of people are going to sur get surprised uh, by the next move, but we want to see the smaller time frame move. That's very important. Uh, for to us see how where the next swing is happening so we don't get surprised I'm still bearish and I'm expecting that once that price has happened uh, once that uh, move has happened we can delete this now I hope you guys are done seeing it so let me see that delete it and see um, okay there we go so once we have done uh, creating a top move right over here, the next move is, is must for the next move to drop below the immediate support, which is 1975. 
that will be once again $175 from the top. That will be quite a bit of amount. If the price can once again uh, drop below 1975, that will be our confirmation that we are looking at the immediate drop. That would mean that we have seen the top here or over here. So, but for now, the next week, I am expecting that after that, we are going to see this behavior. Okay, probably uh, bringing us towards the somewhere around the centerish lines and then we can use this area to form a correction to give us an indication that the top is behind us wish you good luck with your trading i hope that i was uh, able to provide some assistance we had a solid solid uh, some, uh, trade in silver and gold my friend myself i was trading gold i did not trade silver it was a pretty beautiful move in in both of them at least in, in silver not in both of them but we did have some i did have some profits in fact in gold but all of that <laughs> part of that at least got vanished on friday wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye